Hi, I'm Chris Arnold, and today I want to talk to you about the Nike Airships. Now, you're wondering why am I wearing a suit and tie? We'll get to that in a minute. Airships. We've been talking about them a lot recently. There's been a lot of noise around them in the history of this shoe. And the youngsters who have been paying attention have had a lot of knowledge dropped on them. And the sneaker community in general, I think, has been pretty clear about this. They'd love to have a retro version released of the Airships. And Nike hasn't announced anything yet, as far as I know. The only thing that we've heard is Jordan Brand posting a photo on Twitter of Jordan wearing the Airships. And there's been some talk about, is this foreshadowing for a future release? Well, we haven't heard anything yet. We don't know. Why hasn't Nike done a retro version of this amazing shoe? There could be a number of factors. One could be some kind of legal copyright issue, uh, a previous dispute, anything, something like that with the design of the shoe. But I think Nike, Nike legal department is big enough and strong enough to find a way to skirt the issue here. If they have to do a modification on the design and put a different outsole or something like that, that would be fine. I think the sneaker community would be perfectly fine with that because all retros, they're not all 100% like the original shoes. Now, could it be something that's not legal? Could it be that it's just the whole band concept that the Airship was the shoe that was really banned and not the Air Jordan 1 like they claim in their ads? Now, this is certainly a possibility. They may just want to steer clear of that whole mess, but you know, is Nike ever going to come clean and admit that it wasn't the Air Jordan 1s? They just had a huge uh, campaign come out with the, the retro breads, calling them banned. Uh, I don't expect Nike to come clean anytime soon. I really don't. And we don't really need them to, I guess. I mean, we know they weren't the band shoes, but we still love that bread that just was the release, the Air Jordan 1 bread. We loved it. It was great. Amazing shoe. So it doesn't matter that it was banned or not banned. If you're worried about the, you know, what colorways to choose, we got you covered. We've already picked the colorways. Bam, bam, and bam. Now, I understand where Nike's coming from. They just don't want to open up a can of worms here. But here's the deal. The sneaker community wants to see the shoe come out. They've been talking about it for a long time, especially recently. There's been a lot of heat about this. So, Nike, if it's the whole band thing, don't worry about it, okay? We, you don't have to market it as banned. We'll refer to the shoe for what it really is, the rookies. Okay, here's my idea, sneaker community. This is where the suit and tie comes in. We make this our formal plea to Nike to do a retro version of the airships, okay? This is basically a petition. So let Nike know that you want the airships retro by liking and sharing this video on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever. Post your own photos and videos asking them to do a retro version. We've got a band together that's strength in numbers. We can make a lot of noise with this. Hashtag retro airship. And I think it's possible that Nike will listen. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. Hey everybody, it's Channel Chris here. There's a few other videos if you haven't seen them yet. One is kind of a detailed look at the band shoe. It's a mock-up that I made. It's hard to find the actual photos of that shoe. This gives you an idea about what it looks like. There's also a video that talks about uh, the history of the band shoe and the earliest months of the Air Jordan 1. If you're into Air Jordan 1s, you can't miss that. And there's also a comparison video between two different Michael Jordan shoes that I've been lucky enough to have and uh, really gets into detail there. And also, I just want to say thank you to all the sneaker collectors that have shared their knowledge with me on all these things. I couldn't have done these videos without them. And if you really want to geek out super hard on the airships, you got to go to Shuzium YouTube page and find the video that he has on the airships there. He goes into incredible detail. That's for the hardcore fans. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to use that hashtag, Retro Airship.